Hello and welcome. A lot of people have been doing experiments with AI solving Excel esports lately, and I am jumping on the bandwagon. Um, for a bit of context, I'm probably like three or four hours into playing around with this. Um, I tried to record my first, um, like I, I did some kind of exploratory playing around with ChatGPT, um, came up with something that I'll partially show you now. Uh, and then moved over to Gemini because I heard people had been getting better results with that, which was consistent with my experience. Um, so I tried to record the first case I ever did with the, the tool I built with ChatGPT plus Gemini, um, which was a roaring success. Um, but the, the video did not, I don't know, my computer was in a bad mood or something, the video didn't come out right. So uh, that was Collecting Scarves, the latest Road to Las Vegas case. So now I'm going to try it on the case from before that. Um, I will say this, you know, both of those two, Collecting Scarves and, and a bit of music, are on the more AI friendly side. And, you know, there's lots more to explore and whatever. Um, I'll also have a longer video about you know, the process, what those kind of three or four hours uh, involved at another point. But I'm not going to get into that now. Now I'm just going to try and do a solve. So uh, I'm going to start the timer. Uh, the way the setup works for this is it'll pull most of the information automatically, but just anything that is not part of the instructions but is relevant data, I need to tag. I just, by tag, I mean give it a name that begins with T underscore. I'm not going to put in any hints. So we'll just say T underscore one for that. I'm going to say T underscore two for this. Uh, and that's it. And then I'm going to run this macro uh, that converts basically just grabs all the information in the case and converts it to markdown. So there's some kind of upfront stuff, general prompts about what I wanted to do. Again, I'll explain more on that later. Uh, it grabs the general challenge instructions from here. Um, just kind of gives some level, uh, some hierarchy tagging with markdown that, um, that AI is good at reading. And then for each level, it tells you the difficulty, the level name, well, which actually seems to be missing there. Maybe that wasn't in the expected place, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, the level instructions, uh, the input headers. So here your input is a status byte uh, that appears in cell G59. And the uh, input value for the example is this. Uh, and then the level data appears in this range and then so on. Does that for every level, does something similar for the bonuses. And then for each of the tables, it says, okay, there's a table called, uh, there's a named range called T1. It appears in these cells. These are the headers that it has. Uh, and then it says how many unique values. And if there are less than 10 unique values, then it lists them all. Um, just, you know, general descriptive statistics. Um, that's all it is. Uh, so we're going to take that Oh, I've left the timer running all that time, which is not ideal. I wanted to get a kind of competition style benchmark, but whatever. Let's say we can take off about a minute from that. Uh, and the way the instructions go, uh, Gemini will, will take quite a while to think. Um, so I have time to explain this, but the, the way the instructions go, if it works perfectly, uh, is that it should read this, think about everything, give me a formula that will work for level one. And then I will just say continue. Uh, and it'll give me a formula that'll work for level two and so on. Let's see if it works. Now, ooh, yeah, sorry. It's giving me one that works for the example and it does reproduce the example and it solves the level. Beautiful. So we'll say continue. And it'll think, or maybe not as long as I thought, uh, and give me an answer for level two. The reason that I've set it up in a chat like this, as opposed to uh, you know an, an in-grid API call like uh, like Thomas's version, is because I want to have the option, although I won't necessarily have to use it today, to say wait, change this thing or something like that, uh, which works better I think when it's part of a chat. But as you can see, I've set up the instructions in such a way that if it's if it's working well, I don't need to do much. I just tell it keep going. There we go. Uh, wait, hang on. Has it finished writing? Yes. Sometimes I hit copy because it looks like it's done, but these, some of these formulas get big. Oh, nope. Mm, wait a second. C2. That is oddly wrong. Uh, what is it trying to do? It's returning an instrument, but it's giving me a note. That's weird. The comments suggest it's working. If channel is 10, it's a percussion instrument. The note determines the instrument. Yes. So we've got T2 keys, T2 notes. 
that all looks like it should be working. Demon channels. How on earth is that giving a note? Huh? I'm super confused right now. Uh. Oh. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. This is bigger than I thought. If channel decimal is 10, then blah 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 blah. Otherwise, if the instrument by channel number, yeah, <coughs> okay. So, so, just give back channel decimal and that gives 10, okay. So, then we should be looking up key decimal in T2 keys returning from T2 notes. Oh, ah, sorry, it's returning from T2, okay, sorry. Mm, okay. Fine, so we'll have to give it a correction here. Uh, you know, let's just say, try that level again. Just, I'm curious to see how it gets on with no help from a human. Um, so I'm just going to give it another chance. And I suppose I could give, without adding any skill to the mix, I could at least say, that's returning a note, not an instrument. Try again. But let's just see what it does with try again. No help at all. I mean, I will say the fact that it's failed on level three is definitely a, a less impressive start than the last one. But, yeah. well, now it's working. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Uh, continue. My thesis with all of this is that we are maybe not exactly at, but certainly at a minimum very close to the point where uh, where AI can just solve cases without any material human input. Probably not every case. There are harder cases certainly than this, but enough of them that it's a problem. Uh, to have some, you know, a tool this powerful in a competition that is meant to be comparing humans against each other. Um, considerably longer thoughts on that in the uh, extended process video, but this one I'm trying to keep short, so let's see how it goes. No problems there. Okay. Continue. definitely outperforming me on this case at this point because I, I think I waffled for about a minute after I started the timer uh, just showing you what the markdown was so like I think it's it's maybe f six minutes in right now and it's got five levels out and it's you you can see that like there's there's some heavy stuff going on here it's got a let with a nested lambda but I'm just trying to use it from the perspective of someone who understands nothing. Oh, now, that's interesting. Uh, so, right, let's just go no skill. That gave multiple instruments on the example instead of just one. Give it another go. Like, I, I could go and you know, read this and try to figure out what it's doing wrong, but I'm, I'm kind of deliberately avoiding that right now because my theory is that it'll probably just do it by itself. This is, oh yeah, this is the one returned the one instrument that does not appear. So it did, acoustic grand piano is there, but there are a bunch of others as well. Was this the one? No, there wasn't. There were some levels that said no percussion, but I don't think this is one of them. Anyway, it's still thinking. It, I, I occasionally open up the thinking and it's like, it's, the way it writes the narrative is so weird. It's like, I'm really getting stuck into this now. I'm really analyzing this very deeply, blah, 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 blah. It's, anyway, uh, it is what it is. All right, so it's having a good long think about this one, but you know, we're still sub 10 minutes. 
uh, and it's on level six. Hmm. Oh, yeah, no, I don't want the chit chat. Just give me the formula. Thank you. Actually, no, let's see what it says. Different instruments, some by channel, some by note. A more robust approach will consolidate into a single. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So it was, yes, it was giving me all the drums plus the correct answer. That makes sense. So now give me that more. No, that's still. I did put in the new one, didn't I? Yeah. No, that still seems to be. Put the string into an array, decode all the channels and keys into parallel arrays. Yes, look up all potential instruments on channel and key separately. Regular lookup, percussion lookup for each message, choose the correct instrument. Channel array is 10, percussion lookup, otherwise regular lookup seems fine. Create a unique clean list of the instruments, unique to call. Yes, not sure why one there, but fine. I mean, it looks like the right approach, uh, but it's not working. Uh, but so let's just do a rate text. I'm just going to take all of this. This is returning on the example instead of just acoustic grand piano. Again, the, you know, I, I could probably, well, I'm sure eventually I could uh, look at this and figure out what's going wrong, but I'm curious to see without any kind of skilled Excel input, but just with, hey, this should say this, and instead it says that input. I mean, I can see that it's, you know, it's giving me all the drums and the correct answer, um, which I could tell it that, but I don't want to tell it that because I want it to figure out what's going wrong instead of me. I'll be honest, I thought it would do this case faster than this, uh, based on how well it did with collecting scarves, but we're still in the very early stages compared to a 30 minute time limit. So, yeah, no, I don't need all the chit chat, just the answer, please. Okay, so it's made a much more complicated formula, but let's see if it now works. It does, for every level, okay. So let me give it some value-added insight with the word continue and have it do level seven. I got this one done in like maybe 25 minutes, 23 minutes, something like that. So it still, still could finish way ahead of me. Level seven ended up taking me a long time. Um, I was determined to do it single cell, which of course it is going to have to do because that is my instruction to it. But let's see how it goes. Okay, parse the hex string, filter for relevant events, on and off, augment the filter table with a readable name. Reach unique note, find the index of the first time, blah, 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 find the earliest closing event. Looks like the right approach, but again, I'm not trying to be the assessor, I'm just trying to be the copy paster. And boom, there it is. We're at 12 or 13 minutes. So, okay. Uh, now, let's do the bonuses. I think I have something in the instructions that says the first bonus follows the last level, so I think just continue would have done, but anyway, let's, boom, let's continue. Got that first one very quickly. 
I guess it was, what is it? oh yeah, that was a pretty simple one. Uh, this is a little more complex. Oh, actually, it probably doesn't know where the answers are. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've told it that. How on, oh my god, first regenerate all the answers to level two. <laughs> wow! This is the kind of thing that just blows me away because there have been a couple of moments when I thought, oh wait, I didn't give it enough information. There was there was a question that relied on uh, the game number, backgammon. Uh, there was different boards for different game numbers, and I didn't tell it where the game number was, didn't give it that information. <sighs> Insane. It finds a way. We're at 14-ish minutes, and yeah, on track to destroy this case. Now, I will say for the bonuses, obviously I've got this here, but you know, for the bonuses you have to be particularly unforgiving, and actually let's just hide that, uh, because if it gives a plausible looking answer, there is no example to match against, so there is in a sense higher stakes for this. Yeah, it regenerates all the answers from level 3 just as part of it, because it doesn't know where to just reference them. Oh, that gives a calc error. Uh, empty array. That gives an empty array error. Curious what went wrong. So I wonder if it had the target frequency right. Let's take a quick look. I'm not going to help it by telling it, but let's just see the target frequency. I think it was supposed to be 22 for this one. 20. Oh yeah, sorry, no, this one was 22. So yes, that. So it got the target frequency right. Uh, let's see what it says. You are right. My apologies. No letters count match. Likely caused by a subtle error in the logic used. To okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, okay. So we'll say continue. So it's... <laughs> I... Uh, it's the peril of doing an AI-based solve is that there are uh, continue. There are there is just variability because there's randomness in in what it generates. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I'm not actually gonna. I wonder if it makes the same uh, interpretation difference as a lot of the humans did, and adds these and then converts it to a binary number, or gets it right. Uh, shouldn't be a hard question for it, considering what it's done. Yeah, boom. Okay, so in 16 to 17 minutes, a perfect score, the only feedback I gave it was, uh, as you saw, continue, or this is what went wrong. Um, that's, and that is you know, a better score than any human got uh, in a much better time than any human did. Um, it's wild. Interesting times. Like I said, more details coming very soon on uh, on my earlier experiments with this, on how I came up with that markdown generator, all that stuff. Uh, but that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.